What will humans look like in the future? There once used to be nine species of ancient humans. But about 300,000 years ago, our ancestors, the first modern humans, appeared in southern Africa. Fast forward to today, where scientists are making educated guesses about what humans will look like in the future. Human appearance has changed across history depending on environmental challenges and geographical location. For starters, the human jaw and teeth have shrunk in size compared to our hunter-gatherer ancestors. This is due to our living environment and our diet of cooked meat and vegetables. If we replace the food we eat in the future with meals that are softer and easier to chew, we may see a reduced jaw size and more crooked teeth from overcrowding. In the distant future, our brains are unlikely to become larger because this would affect the birthing process. The birth canal is not physically built to allow a larger baby's head to pass through the pelvis. Changing any of that would greatly impact the female body's upright posture and ability to walk. Scientists have reported that over the last 20,000 years, our brains have shrunk in volume by the size of a tennis ball. Some believe that as a result, humans are becoming less intelligent. But others believe that we are getting smarter and this is our brain's way of becoming more efficient. Although our brain size continues to shrink, neuron density and connectivity remains unchanged, which is why it is very unlikely that this shrinkage would affect our intelligence. What about other parts of our bodies? How will they change as humans evolve? The joint movements can vary between large and smaller bodies. Any significant change in the size of a body requires a significant change in its shape as well. Our bodies are unlikely to become larger because small changes in our skeleton will also require massive changes in our internal organs and tissues. For example, the rib cage protects the heart and the lungs. If it became bigger, then there would be a lot of empty space that would allow for the heart and lungs to bounce around. The only way to fix this is to increase the size of the heart and lungs as well. On the other hand, our muscles are expected to shrink in size. Our ancestors spent their first days hunting for their food. Then they moved to sowing and reaping fields. They were always in constant motion, performing intense physical activities. So by default, their bodies were stronger and their muscles were bigger. Nowadays, we spend our time on the computers and order our food online. The less physically active we are, the higher the chances that our muscles will keep shrinking. There have been recent reports about how an entire generation of teenagers has overdeveloped thumbs from playing too many video games. This is because our muscles are able to adapt to excessive physical use. But this is not genetic, and such a change cannot be passed down to any of our offspring. In order for humans to evolve, different genes must be passed on. If the genetic changes are significant, we may see a new species of humans arise. However, the main elements needed for evolution, like variation, natural selection, and geographic isolation, are more or less no longer present. Scientists have used the term grand averaging for something new happening in human evolution. As the world's population mixes and breeds together within different cultural and ethnic groups, scientists believe that sometime in the future, humans will start to look more alike. Humans will also evolve to live longer. Due to better hygiene, medicine, nutrition, and the absence of predator attacks, our bodies have developed a lower mortality rate. This can allow evolution to extend our lifespan by extending the time for our bodies to reach maturity. Humans will become more outgoing and more tolerant as traveling and the internet have made it much easier to form friendships and relationships across the planet. The study of human evolution is a very wide and complex subject, so this is just scratching the surface. What do you imagine humans will look like in the future? Share your thoughts in the comment section.